treatment of HIV. These men and women were infected with HIV in different ways, some through infected spouses and others from HIV-positive sex workers. But they all had the same fear of revealing their plight. Because of the discrimination by the people, we were trying to fear even to come up but then some people encouraged us that now if you fear to be open, you will even die soon and you will leave your children helpless. Florence and other HIV positive people like her are supported by a community-based health care program in Uganda which helps them overcome their fears in dealing with the stigma of AIDS, a major challenge to treating the disease in Africa. Stigma is very much alive, especially in Africa, even after 25 years of the AIDS epidemic. I think it's the feeling of shame, feeling different, fear of disclosure that you have this disease. With backing from international donors, including the World Bank, community-based health care programs across Africa are helping to raise awareness about HIV AIDS through testing centers, treatment, and counseling. Now through education, through you know, awareness creation, they, they, they come out and they speak that they are HIV positive and they understand that they can you know, live uh, like others. Some of the most successful community-based health care programs have been in Rwanda, where with government backing, they've led to the creation of associations that cater to people with HIV AIDS and their children. Uh, there's been a massive increase in the number of people that have come to be tested. And as access to AIDS treatment has scaled up, uh, people have become more accepting of those living with AIDS. Many of the community-based programs combine AIDS awareness with poverty reduction by providing HIV-infected people with income-generating activities, such as fishing and livestock rearing. We have to realize that AIDS is not just a health problem. The important thing is to realize that it is society's problem. And we need all the resources and all the mechanisms we have in society to fight AIDS. Marie Chantal lost her mother to AIDS last year and had no way to buy food for herself and her younger siblings. But a community-based program taught her to sew. And with what she makes sewing, she's now able to feed them all.